Did you get a chance to watch the video that I did on on the DM messages from her, or uh, or no? Uh, no, my, uh, my folk, no, my folks. You said what, you said a video or just the messages? No. So what I did was uh, with those messages, right? Uh-huh. Um, the ones that I sent you. Um, I did a I did a video with uh, with those messages in it, and I showed the exact messages that I sent you, uh, and and just let folks read it for themselves, man. And and I read it, you know. So because some people just listen, you know, they don't get a chance to uh, they don't get a chance to to view the screen. And so I read them. I gave my two cents on on some of the ridiculousness of it. And and as you can see, if, if you got a chance to to look at them fully, in the last two, uh, you know, the the last two screenshots or whatever is is my response back to her, where I told her, look, well, I'm not gonna give you a platform to express your grievances. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, yeah, right. Come on, right. Right. That's and, and so. Uh, and she hearted the comment, Brody. She she seen as soon as I sent it. I, I'm in the DM, and so uh, uh, you know it. It is what it is. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So that's uh, that's how that went. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, my folks told me. My folks, my folks told me the guys and uh, the messages and all that. So I already do. I just called right now. You feel me? Yeah. yeah, man. Uh, and I promise you, I'm trying. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to. I'm trying to wait for the decision. Mm-hmm. What they gonna do with uh on that shit with Mac Benister? And, um, I'm waiting for a decision back from the federal from the federal court on my on my extension on my extension for my federal rent. You feel me? So I'm ready to put. I'm ready to put that. I'm ready to put that in. I'm ready to put that in, bro. And, uh, uh, let these federal judges review this, man. That, that's really what I'm ready to do, man. You know, so mm-hmm. in this state, it's hard to get relief. It's hard to get relief in the appellate court out here, man. It just, you know, to be honest with you, bro, this, this, this stuff out here is so racist, bro. This real cowboys and Indians out here, bro. Like, 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 you, like, like it's a real, like, western state. You don't really trip off that, like, when you be going to Vegas and all that. Mm-hmm. But, like, the capital up here, you feel me? Up here, you know, Carson City and all that. So, even when I first came and was fighting my case, you had like you had like families and judges and lawyers that just been in the system like since since, since like the forties and fifties. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Getting the getting the way did for judge for judgeships. When I went to trial, the judge in my case, he, he was just the head attorney about two years ago, three years ago before that. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like. So it was it, it, it was real many, bro. It was it was real many how they was doing stuff. And then like the whole time I was down, I wasn't seeing cats be beating cases, how cats was beating cases in California. You feel what I'm saying? Like bro. real like real talk, bro. So, you know, it's it was all for to me how all this was operating down here. Yeah. But um now I really know how they how they be playing. Yeah, now I know how they be playing out here for real. Right. You know what I'm saying? So twenty year old. Twenty-seven-year-old kid, no more, man. I don't know what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Uh, and and I'm guessing there's no word yet on on the results of the evidentiary hearing from uh from Mac Minister's case, huh? Nah, uh, you know they be doing the written decisions after that. When I went to my evidentiary hearing, they they didn't give me no ruling for they didn't give me no ruling for about 45, 60 days, right? Hmm. Okay. So, so yeah, they, they usually do them on Fridays, and then, uh... Oh, you know? Yeah. Get these grounds, get these grounds in the federal court, man. I was just reading, it's so many, bro. I was reading some cases the other day, bro. My folks, my folks, my folks, my folks, I, right? Mm-hmm. She had got wrapped up on a big block case. Right. They had found some work in her spot. Yeah, they had found some work in her spot. And then, the, like, the San Francisco detective lied on a search warrant. He lied on a search warrant. He lied on a search warrant to a local 
to the local SFPD, I mean, the, the local judge in Frisco saying they had an informant and the informant was reliable and this, that, and the other. So they found some work in there, but then, you know, like they had the federal case, and then when they, 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 they argued that shit in the feds, and the feds threw that shit out, like they didn't even have no informant. You had, like, this was a wiretap. You didn't even let the judge know this was no no wiretap. You was, you, you was lying by omission inside the warrant, inside the warrant. Uh, for the search warrant, you know what I'm saying? So, like, right. they do that out. They do all, they do all that out. Like, you, need, you know, fruits of the poison is tree, like, right, right. you know what I'm saying? Just lying by omission. Yeah. And it's even mainly because, you know, Matt Haley, he, you know, he, he, he lied in that search warrant. He terrorized the honest point and all that. He, he was with, uh, the day I got arrested, he was up with, uh, Robert McMillan. He said, mm-hmm. they ended up the Chanel route. Matt Haley and, uh, Robert McMillan together. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, so you know, I get the cases out of uh, the law lock there and all that, and I already had that case. So I was just reviewing that, you know what I'm saying? They granted that motion. The feds don't play that, bro. No. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't they don't let them lower level I mean any they they they, they, they really value constitutional rights, man. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they had overturned that. And and I had mentioned that case, Yeah, I have mentioned that in my video, um that uh, you know that that the Fed should should be more favorable treatment because uh because they do look at stuff different and and state courts tend to be a lot more biased right because in a state court system all them cats work together all those judges all those DAs everybody else you know they they come from the same pool of people and and so there's a lot of cronyism right there's there's a lot of of man that's my homeboy. And and so I'm gonna back his play and I'm gonna bring these charges. But you go to federal court, them judges like in your case, the federal court's ninth district, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, right now I think it's just like I ain't in the ninth circuit. I ain't in the ninth circuit. Yet. If I if I get denied the bid, then I go to the ninth circuit. You should okay. be back in first time. Okay. But it's a higher court though, none the least. Like you right, said, it's a higher court for sure. Yeah, and, and so uh, they. They tend to be a little bit more forgiving in in a sense, right? Um, and and they don't hand out freebies, but but they they get critical. And I think in your case, uh, your case is one of the most extreme that I've seen, bro. To be honest, and and you know I've seen a lot of cases, and uh, and I've worked on some on some really faulty cases, and I've never I don't think I've ever seen one from jump that is as bad as yours in terms of of the setup in terms of the evidence quote unquote that was used against you to convict you it's just ridiculous bro it's just ridiculous and uh and and i think there's a very good chance that the federal court sees it the same way you know uh they might run you back for a new trial i, I don't think the federal court's going to turn around and say hey man uh let jace you know, walk out of there, they're they, probably... Yeah, they ain't gonna play like that. They ain't gonna play right. like that. They, they ain't gonna play like that. They they, they they gonna have a cat hop on something to get out the door, man. They, yeah. they just don't wanna get sued, man, you feel me? So, yeah, I know, think... Man, anything to get my... Yeah, I get my freedom to get about. But yeah, bro, not being able to cross-examine my accuser, bro, that's big, bro. I'm talking about never, ever being able to cross-examine my accuser right. and then still get that testimony in the trial. That's a constitutional, but that's bad, bro. It is. That's very bad, very, very bad. Yeah. With, yeah. The, line, with the line about the excited utterance, too. So, you know, right. you do that on the side motion, that trial, taking another police, making, taking another police officer's uh, interview with this witness, and you say that, you don't remember that from your own, but you got your own, right. you got your own voluntary statement that you've taken and none of that is even documented inside your voluntary statement. You know what I'm saying? Inside what you did or your summary report. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's, it's ill, man. It is. And it's Ill, man. What's, what's ironic is, uh, you know, it's supposed to be an excited utterance. That's that's the claim that they make, right? Which means it's it's kind of a spontaneous statement that's made, yeah. um, you know, not, not in the context of a question being asked, just, just somebody is scared and they shout something out, right? And 
And so yeah. that's that's what they're saying happened. However, she sat in a fucking police station and gave an interview, bro. Like like we've all seen the tape, right? And if it's an excited utterance, how come the judge in your case? I mean, the judge, the uh, the the detective, right? In your case, is using word for word for word what she said. It's you don't take exactly. notes. Because he's lying. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's how he pulled the twist. Look, we go to trial the whole time. They can't get it in. We try. We try to even get a, a deposition. We try to get a deposition. Oh, can we? Can we get the deposition from Ralph just in case she don't come to court? Just got other. So she never show up. Boom. They do a sideboard at trial. So now you got Robert back billing who arrests me on the day. Now he lies and say, "Oh, I remember." This was said to me, which was never said to him on the twelfth. It was said to the um, to the to the Vegas police on the fourteenth. So that's what they say. Oh, he threatened me. You can even ask my brother. You can even ask my brother. They don't even got the brother's name and any reports. Any I can even say who the brother is. He never made no statement. So then the police officer from Frisco. Oh, yeah, I remember that was said. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, and since it was said on the day of the arrest. Oh, now we can get the whole testimony and do it inside her. No, you're lying. Right. You never said this before. You never mentioned this, and you're bringing something up from a, 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 a you're bringing something up from a voluntary statement from the, another police department. Right. Period. You're saying you're bringing something in from a police department's interview on the 14th of July, not on the 12th of July. Right. When you wrote your report, this shit ain't in your report. Right. So you're perjuring yourself. And it's so many, listen, so it's so many, so I'm over here, I'm reading the case, I'm, re- I'm reading Ted Billy's case, mm-hmm. when Max found a girl in Sunnydale, told her, found her with the dope and the gun and told her, so she lied about, uh, uh, oh, Maul did this and that, they get the warrant off that, and, and, and uh, damn, they charge, charge, charge Maul. So I'm reading the shit, they saying they find her and coerce her in June 2008. I went to, so I went to trial July 2008. Right. So this motherfucker Robert McMillan doing this foul shit in Frisco in sunny June 2008, doing this foul shit to fly out here to Vegas and do perjury in my trial a month later, July 2008. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, just, you know, real, real pattern behavior, real misconduct. Yeah. Just, just foul. Just all the way a professional dirtbag police officer that's trying to take minorities off the streets mm-hmm. without even giving them any type of rights. Period. Mm-hmm. And it's just it's 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 ill when I'm reading these Lexus Nexus case laws. I'm pulling these law I'm I am i am not even I'm pulling cases out of the law library, but these are actual cases from people that I you know. You have one minute left. Uh, you know what I'm saying? In in, in grounds that I'm familiar with. You know right. what I mean? So it's just like Yeah, you, you read know, yeah, you you're reading about your people, right? You're reading about your neighborhood. You're reading about people that you know, um, and and that's an interesting approach. Hey, uh, uh, I know you're short on time. Uh, you think you're going to be able to call back, or are we going to catch up later? We can catch up later, man. We can catch up later in a minute, man. It's all love, man. Thanks for everything, man. I appreciate you, man. All the support. Off top, off top, man, and, and once again, everybody look in the description and uh, get Jason's cash app, man, and, and look out for the dude. You know what I mean? Uh, he's got that coming, if nothing else. All right, man, you take care, bro. I, I appreciate you. You're in my prayers. You and Mac Minister both, and, uh, yes, sir. you know, whatever I can do, whatever we can do, bro, we got your back. All right, in a minute. All right, fam. All right, peace, one. There you have it. Um, quick conversation with with Jace Corleone uh, and and some of his feedback, I, I sent him screenshots of the images that I would use in the video, so so he saw those. Um, he, he didn't get a chance to watch it. Obviously, it just aired, you know. But uh, anyways, uh, you guys have a good one, man. Help others move with excellence. Help yourself at the same time. That's what homies do, and you are with it on the rebound.